Good afternoon, my name is Andrew Adams from Parker Adams Boat Sales and I'm here down in Weymouth today and I have behind me a very, very special boat. Um, it's a Trader 54 um, but its length overall is just under 60 feet, 59 feet overall and we've just taken this boat on brokerage. Um, I'm actually down here on holiday at the moment. I got a phone call from Jonathan, my business partner, who said uh, we've just had a call and could we take on a Trader 54 which is in the same place that I'm down on holiday. So um, I, what I want to do today is give you a boat tour of this boat. Um, I've just come back in and we've just done drone videos on the boat um, of her powering along in Weymouth Bay and I have to say she is a very very special boat. Um, the condition is absolutely immaculate. Now I know a lot of brokers tell you that boats are immaculate. This one genuinely is absolutely stunning. Um, I've completely fallen in love with it and I never thought I'd say that about a trader. Um, they're not necessarily my style of boating but the space on board is absolutely phenomenal and it's very very hard not to be completely blown away by it. So what I'm going to do, let's um, crack on with the tour. So well, first of all I'll just walk down uh, the side of the boat so you can see um, the condition that she's in. Uh, the first thing that I noticed when I um, came on board the boat is the condition of the teak. Now it's a 1994 boat um, but the teak is in brilliant condition. It's been really really well looked after. Um, the nice thing is you can actually see the depth of it. So on some teak it's starting to get very very thin on a 1994 boat. Uh, not so this trader. It's still in beautiful condition. Um, she was fully anti-fouled and put in the water um, about two months ago but you can see there's absolutely no growth um, underneath at the moment at all and the hull you can see just in the salt water sitting on there um, we've just come back in um, it's very very well highly polished highly waxed um, this blue line is showing no signs of fading whatsoever um, she really is a very very special condition boat all of the stainless steel is all nicely polished um, the transom uh, here and you can see she's called Simplicity. Nice set of davits here um, with a tender and a lovely big camper cover. So let's step aboard. I mentioned about the condition of the side decks. You can see here they really are absolutely pristine. They've got a really lovely smell to them. As we walk up here, the first thing you're greeted with is this absolutely enormous aft area with a full-size dining table. I mean, I think you could fit, comfortably fit 10, 12 people around that dining table. Um, it really is fantastic. Uh, loads and loads of space back here. Uh, you've got a hatch here going into the aft cabin. Easy access here for a transom door through to the tender. Um, these are really nice, so you've got these cleat covers. So you can see here the cleat is exposed and then you've got this cleat cover that's off on that side but you can see here um, it's just covering up there. So again, it keeps everything absolutely pristine. Um, all the upholstery has been changed quite recently. It's all absolutely pristine. Just up here, there's a television there. There's a, C a CD player as well. And if I then step up onto the flybridge, Lots of seating up here again. I think you could probably get probably eight, eight or nine people sat around here. And then you've got this beautiful sun deck at the top. Um, and you can see fully functioning Simrad radar is all working well. Um, you might notice here that the, um, the boat's been fitted with a optional stern thruster. That was fitted just a few years ago. So it's got bow and stern thruster. Um, electronically, everything works. So it's all in, we've just been out, we've been out for about an hour's running, um, in t uh, maybe half an hour, half an hour to an hour's running, uh, done all the drone videos. We've also got all the fuel consumption readings. It's done just 16 litres of diesel, just going out into Weymouth Bay now. So very, very efficient engines. I'll talk a little bit more about the engines a bit later on. So let's head down below. Just take my shoes off. And in one word, it's got to be space. Look at all the space here. And the condition is absolutely breathtaking. I'm just going to turn the, um, turn the VHF off. It's making quite a lot of noise there. Um, so you can see the condition. Now, all of the leather on board this boat was replaced uh, about six years ago, and it genuinely is absolutely unmarked. Um, there's a couple of pedestals here that just pull out, which give additional seating there. So you've got another two seats 
around. Um, now this boat is fitted with, um, there's four air conditioning units on it. Um, all of the air conditioning units are reverse cycle, so they will also heat the boat. But in addition to that, the owner has fitted um, two warm air heating systems to the boat as well. So it's got both warm air heating and air conditioning. Um, a point to note about the, the warm air heating, um, because it's a recent addition, um, it's got all the latest mod cons, you can text the boat and turn on the heating. So if you know you're coming down to the boat an hour before coming, you can send the boat a text message and the heating will turn on. Um, let's go through systematically. So up here on the um, the lower helm, everything that you need is here. You've got some really nice um, fuel gauges that give you the litres per hour on the engines. Um, you've got autopilot, you've got temperature alarms, you've got these really good Morse controls. Now this is powering a pair of Caterpillar V8 diesels. They're 435 horsepower each. Um, believe it or not, they will push this boat along to in excess of 20 knots. Um, they've had just over 20 knots on it, but it's the sort of boat that is really comfortable cruising um, and you'd be wanting to cruise around 10, 10, 12, 15 knots. Um, that would be really economical. You've got a couple of screens here. You've got a radar that's all set up here. And then you've got an additional um, PC, which is set up, which has got all the charts. That's all being left on board the boat. Got a huge chart table here this is really nice i'm sat up on the the co-pilot seat now and a large chart table in front of me and actually you really give a feeling for how big this boat is when you sit here and then pan around and just see this fantastic saloon area it really is quite breathtaking and the condition of it i, I cannot get over how clean this boat is um, the wood is pretty much unmarked um, it is really very very special so let's start at the back of the boat and I'll work my way forward. So if we come down here, you've got another seating area down here. And this seating area here complements the galley area. So you've got another television here, lots and lots of storage space, um, and then the galley area here. Good functional galley, everything that you need is here. You've got a double sink, you've got a four burner hob, microwave built in here, you've got a fridge freezer set up. So this boat really has been set up for long distance cruising. I mean, it is perfect for, for spending months and months on board the boat or also as a, a potential liverboard as well. Um, into the aft cabin, the aft cabin, it's got an offset bed here. It's huge, absolutely massive. Goes the full width of the boat. It's got its own ensuite in here. So you've got full height store, um, wardrobes here, you've got the air conditioning units down here at the bottom, um, you've got a clock, a barometer set, another seat over here, just again, just loads and loads of space. And I referred to the hatch earlier, saying that hatch goes into the aft cabin, uh, that's the underside of the hatch, which of course has got a blind on it as well, to keep the light out in the morning. So going back through here, this is that additional seating area, and then the galley area. So let's go back up into the main saloon area. Television up here, lots and lots of power points on board this boat. Of course, it does also have a generator. Um, my phone is just ringing there. Um, it does also have a generator fitted. Um, now the engines and generator have both been serviced. Um, so they're, they're fully serviced. The boat has excellent service history. Um, and then let's move down into here. So an additional cabin here, you've got a twin cabin here, um, air conditioning units for this cabin. So each cabin has its own individual air conditioning units. Good full size beds here. And into, I'm not sure whether this is a master cabin or the other one is a master. To be honest, they're both massive. So I'd be hard pushed. Let's just call this the four cabin. So into the four cabin here, again, you can just see how much space there is here. You've got full size hanging wardrobes up here. You've got drawers down here. You've got another television on the wall here and a massive mirror here. Great for getting ready or, or showing me. I'm sure you'd rather be not looking at me there, but <laughs> there you go. So that's a nice full size mirror. And then another heads, which also comes with a shower room. So you've got a separate door on there and that converts that room there into a complete, um, completely enclosed shower room. Um, you can sit down, have a shower, or you can stand up, uh, entirely up to you there. Again, you've got storage space here, storage under sinks. 
air conditioning units um, or controls, sorry, just here. And then these additional um, warm air diesel heater uh, vents just here, all of which is controlled, as we mentioned earlier, by app um, or from the controls, which are thermostatically controlled. Just back up again now into the space. I'm just going to walk onto the side decks now and have a walk forward. Very, very wide side decks on this boat and lots and lots of teak everywhere. This boat has an amazing feeling of quality. Um, big, big delta anchor there. Um, obviously it's an electric windlass as well, foot controls, um, lovely polished stainless steel cleats. And that traditional chunky trader look. <laughs> uh, they're very, very distinctive boats. And you can see from the amount of space down below um, why these um, sort of slightly boxy lines end up with the most beautiful amount of space down below. Um, these steps here all set to teak and then back up. So you can go all the way around and uh, you can got a different view of this dining area here. So just to reiterate, this boat is a Trader 54, but actually length overall um, is 59. So it really is a very, very big, big, big boat. Absolutely perfect for, for extended cruising or living aboard. So what I'm gonna do now, um, I will go down and show the engines. Now this is normally Jonathan's domain, so I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about these engines, because as people who know me know, I'm not, a, I'm not a, that high up on my engines. However, I can point out where they are um, and how good the access is. So I've just come back down here now. Now you do have access to the engines in the, the saloon floor. So all the saloon flooring will come up, which will give you excellent access. But in terms of just quick, easy access to the engines, then underneath this step here, we can lift up this hatch. Now I just need to work out how it comes up. So there's two clips there. That then lifts up and then you have a little clip which is just on the side here. Let's bring that out and just clip that. I should have practiced this a bit earlier. There we go. So that's now clipped up and now you can see this opens up and allows access here. Very sensibly they have a couple of ear defenders here. Set of ear defenders lip potent there in case you did need to get down here when you're underway. And th through here is access to the engine room. And it is a proper engine room, I have to say. So if I come into the engine room now, you can see um, an enormous amount of space. Now these engines, as I mentioned, they're Caterpillar engines. They're 435 horsepower each. Uh, they're V8s, they're low revving, um, and really don't use a huge amount of fuel either on this boat. Um, but the lovely thing about this is if in terms of engine maintenance, you can see you can get all the way around the engines. Um, it is very, very clean here. You can see the owner's attention to detail, a nice nice bit of um, blue <laughs> blue torque there, just lined up. Um, easy access to all the seacocks. Now, if Jonathan were here now, he'd be pointing out things like turbos, all these exciting things that are on these engines. Of course, it has them, um, but I'm just going to show you around the engine briefly and not the level of detail that Jonathan does. Um, this is also fitted with ultrasonic uh, anti-fouling, so that it emits a little pulse um, that keeps the bugs away from growing um, on the hull as, as well as the anti-fouling. Fuel separator systems here. Now this boat is also fitted with a water maker. Um, now that the current owners have never ever used it. They've never even turned it on. So we're not selling it saying that the water maker um, is working, um, but maybe it just needs a service. It's never even been tempted to turn on. So there is also a water maker here. And the generator, which is just to my right here, um, that is a big powerful generator. I'll put just down on the video the kilowatts. I can't remember off the top of my head the size of it, but I'll add it to the video. Uh, that has also been serviced this year. So these engines fully serviced this year and um, they've been annually serviced and maintained and they've generally been very very trouble free so they've been yeah, very very reliable caterpillar um, engines so I think that's probably all I'll show you here in the engine bay you can see here um, battery chargers uh, lots and lots of power volts everything really nicely trunked around as well sometimes you look in the engine bays of boats and you've got, got wires and cables hanging everywhere this is very very clean very tidy uh, you can see one of the, the heating units just there excellent access to engines and easy to get into. Now I mentioned we've just done the drone work, it's now very very warm in here so it's probably time that I came out. 
and that's it back into the cool cabins so just to show you again the access there is just down there under this under this set of stairs so i'm just going to lift this clip off again and i'm not i'm going to turn the i'm going to close the door first put the catch on and just drop this down and then just secure it with these little clips down here and then put these air defenders back into place for the owner so that pretty much concludes the um, the boat tour of this Trader 54. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it is an incredible use of space. I would spend an enormous amount of time on board this boat if I had this boat. In fact, I think I'd probably move in. So just a quick walk through, um, just for the last time. This is the saloon area. These lovely steps up here into the aft deck area. Additional seating there with the galley and the aft cabin. Just walk back up here onto the aft deck and then just walk again around the side decks so i will just conclude the video now so i shall turn it back back to face me um, i hope you've enjoyed this video um, it's been a pleasure to be on board this trader 54 um, it is huge it is presented in absolutely brilliant condition i've really really enjoyed looking over this boat um, if you have any in inquiries in this boat please do contact us um, my name is andrew from parker adams boat sales www.parker-adams.co.uk please like subscribe to the channel we love bringing you these videos and giving you an opportunity to look over boats like this thanks so much for watching and look forward to seeing you on the next video Many thanks.